pouring rain out there. It's actually crazy. Whoa, look at look at Jonah's work. Oh my gosh. That, that kid, he's a keeper, he's a keeper. Beautiful view out there. So rainy. But it feels so good to be back on the farm. Rain or shine. Let's add our fruit. Got it in the oven. After 20 minutes, add our fruit. Clean plate club. Uh oh, got some work to do. Aww. Come on now. We're about to go out and work on the farm. Scott is coming. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna move mulch. Hopefully do some things with the cows, that type of stuff. But first, we launched our live premiere for the Great American Farm Tour info yesterday. There's the video for that if you want more info on that. There's two things that have been coming up. One is people haven't been able to order more than one ticket at a time. We fixed it. We fixed it. You can order up to 10 tickets at a time. If that's not enough, complain in the uh, comments and uh, we'll add more. The second thing that's coming up is many of you are too far away, like you're in England and cannot come. I'm so sorry, we are gonna miss you, but I have good news. Pretty soon we're gonna announce a way for everybody, an international premiere to go down. We'll have more information on that soon. Just opening our doors last night, we've already sold almost 100 tickets, so they're going fast. We only have a little over 400 of those, so uh, get them while you can. It's gonna be a real fun event. Good afternoon, Scott. Hey. I see you got an apron, buddy. I do. This, this is a genuine <laughs> Chick-fil-A apron. Okay, we'll take it. This is the apron club here at the holler, I guess. Hey, is that all we got? Uh, we have a, the Gimli and Pitchfork. Okay, get, uh, you mean the Gimli. Yeah, Gimli. All right, go get the Gimli, and there should be another one, like the one in your right hand. There shouldn't be another Legolas. Legolas's are the light, quick pitchforks, pitchforks, and Gimli's the huge. Powerful ones? Powerful one. Makes sense. It's looking sharp, buddy. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. There's some more. Uh, we gotta have to come up with I'm gonna names go get for rakes. those. For that one. Hey, we have another one just like this. I don't know where it is. This is Legolas. He's got, he's got a thicker brother. Can you go find him? Let's do this, Scott. We're gonna have a warm-up. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, Distribute one of those piles of mulch. Then we're gonna go bring the cows in, pet them, get Violet used to us because she's about to be milked. She's never been milked in her life. She's a heifer, mm. but she's gonna have a baby in like two weeks. And then uh, if we get done with that, we'll come do another pile. Okay, he's going with Legolas. I've got Gimli, and you've got you've got the uh, the Hobbit. That's a good name. <laughs> Let's start with this lower pile here, pile here, Scott. Just start spreading it. Spread it over the whole garden area. This, this pile of mulch. Okay. Throw, throw it down there. Throw it over there. Come on, come on, Frodo. You wanna know how to do it? Go ahead. Hey, you guys level this pile. Scott and I are gonna bring the cows in, and then we'll have you come down and pet them, okay? There you guys are getting with it. Spreading out that compost. Thank you very much. Let's open up our lane to them. Okay, all right, Scott, we're gonna gently herd them into the barn. We're gonna just walk up this way slowly. If we don't have to get close to him for him to start moving. See. We're gonna just get above him because we want him to go back the way we came, okay? They're gonna get the hang of this now that we're gonna start doing this every day. Good looking manure there. Good looking pumpkin pie. Come on, Violet. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on, honey. Let's go. Come on. Come on. All right. Stud Muffin, he couldn't figure it out, so. Violet's. First time in the stanchion. Can you open up the stanchion? Heads up, Gideon. Heads up. She's very compliant. Not today, but we're gonna practice. You gotta open up that one, there you go. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Oh, come on, sweetie. Come on, there we go. 
There we go. Down. Come on, just so I hold this. Everybody pet her. We'll get her back to stud muffin soon. Just a little session today. Day one, putting the cow in the stanchion. Okay, honey, you did good. You did good, you got in here, okay? We're gonna let you back with stud muffin, since he's so upset. Here we go, sweetie. Back up, given that she's never been in a stanchion before, she's doing pretty good. There you go, sweetie. There you go, come on, let's go see your boyfriend. Watch out, Mr. Brown. There you go. Lovers reunited. Go on, give a kiss. Update on the salt pans we tried to put out the other day. That did not work. So we got a mineral dispenser. I don't know if they haven't figured out that's not here or they haven't touched it. They had touched, uh, they killed the kelp and nearly killed the salt. They'll figure that out in a few days when they really need it. They're probably pretty well caught up. At any moment there, Scott, were you afraid? A little bit when we were trying to uh get stud muffin to go into the right little canal area and then he wouldn't go so we just had to take violet away and then uh stud muffin got pretty upset about that let's see 1800 pounds versus scott it, it's gonna be stud muffin every time <laughs> <laughs> all right let's sing another pile of mulch we're gonna throw right where it is so maybe let's just move it as close as we can towards the fence here Feels good. Two piles of three piles done, Scott. Papa. Mama, I got supper for you. Oh, you're fun. Right here. Josiah, I got supper for you. Lily, I got supper for you. Make another shred it for you. These are best served in tacos. What is it? Meat. Lily, have you figured it out yet? Is it meat? Josiah, have you figured this out yet? What do you Tongue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Don't look, Mom. What time is that? <laughs> Here, let's uh, let's let's have Scott over for dinner. What? So there it is, guys. A delicacy. It's Actually, nice. we can't eat that because our freezer went kaput, and the meat kind of went bad. Probably went bad, so we're not risking it. Yeah. But the chickens will eat anything. But uh, we'll let Scott know that he's welcome to dinner, and this is what we're gonna have. I don't know if he's ever had this de delicacy. Ooh, I like delicacies. You do? I'm excited now. Okay. <laughs> I haven't looked. I don't, I don't know what it is yet. You know what that is? Ooh, that looks like a tongue. <laughs> that is a cow tongue. Do, oh. you, do you ever, you ever heard of uh, tongue tacos? Yes, I've actually <laughs> had tongue tacos in oh, yeah? a Mexican restaurant okay. that's in the back of the Tiendo, which I've heard are, are the most authentic restaurants. Okay, well. I guess you're game for this. Unfortunately though, this was in the freezer. Went bad. We're gonna have to feed it to the chickens. Oh. Sorry to disappoint. What did it taste like, Scott? It's uh it is very tender. Um and it tasted good. It just if you don't think if no one tells you that it's tongue, you're gonna think, wow, this tastes great. What is this? And then they're gonna tell you, and then you're gonna think about it, and then it'll taste kinda gross. But if you try not to think about it, it tastes really good. Alright, let's go, Scott. Give him a little afternoon treat. There you go. There you go. <laughs> they love it. Never seen a chicken eat tongue before. 